And if you're one of them... Right, guys. I talk quietly because, as you can see, he's got his headphones on. So, I'm making a curry for tea tonight. I'm just going to marinate some of chicken in this. <laughs> He'll have eaten it a bit time he's seen it. So, this is the ghost chilli that we got from Tills from Hakuna. <laughs> but I'm just going to put some of the chicken in this little bowl and marinate it first. While well, I tidy up before I cook the chicken. So, I'll come back to me in a minute. I love when he's got them because I'll cancel his thoughts on. <laughs> Right, we'll put some in there, look. Yeah. Right. Put some chicken in. Gotta put more chicken than me, he's good. So I'll make sure the bottom got some luck. Now it is frozen chicken I'm using people. But it's it's them frozen bits, you can use it frozen. So I'm gonna show you cooking the curry because I'm good at cooking. It's just baking I'm not very good at. I'm alright at cooking. But yeah, so we've used, um, I have the ghost chilli packet to marinade. Volcanic hot it says on it, so we'll see how hot it is later. <laughs> Alright lovelies, it's going to be the easiest tea ever. So I've been marinating got us chicken as you've all seen. But I'll just show you nice and easy how it is, how simple it is. I'm going to make us both a curry. Now I'm using this one guys. It's a butter chicken, I like a butter chicken, it's only mild. It's only got one chilli. It's just a patty because, um, now I'm not going to add any chilli sauce or anything because obviously I've marinated the chicken in that stuff. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how that goes down. But we do like a bit of onion in our curry. And I'm just going to do this nice and simple guys. With um, some garlic bread and we've got some microwave rice to bang in it and all. Um, it's getting pretty late today, so I think it's oh, four o'clock now already, guys. So we're going to lose light soon. But I'm cooking tea now anyway because I'm hungry. Um, I've had a lovely afternoon with lovely Rachel. I think there's going to be enough onion. I'll do one onion each in each curry because I'm doing it in two separate pans, guys. Because I don't want to have spice me. It kills me off. What is going on inside this onion? Let me get rid of this rubbish. That's it then. So what in a minute? Anybody else throw all the rubbish in the shower then so I won't sit then? Is it just me? <laughs> like we said though, we only use little bags us ourselves, so I never have loads of it. But I did just fill one a minute ago when I was tidying round. Don't like the look of that on the end of there. So guys, do you know if you're ever opening your onion, right? You don't like the look of the end of it. Don't throw the whole onion out, it's got layers. Just chop the bits off you don't like. I'm still on a fair bit with that. That's alright. See that better look. Just 
so like I said onions Top tip for you there, don't sneeze on your husband's tea while you're cooking it. <laughs> don't forget to wash your hands after. <laughs> and because I'm doing it in two pots, guys. Gotta flex his onions small well. So I can cut his small. That's that one, look. That's his onion. And then I can cut mine a lot bit bigger because I don't mind bigger chunks of onion myself. Oh, I don't like the cory bits like that. Mine has going to have less chicken in it than garaf, so I don't eat as much meat as mine. That's my onions. Now I'm still swearing by these guys. Seedless, you just literally lock the end off, look. No seeds, no bits, look at that. Done, perfect. I do like to take that little bit of membrane out there though. That pulpy bit. Not a fan of that. So I do slice them down the middle and take that out. Doing for a treat, guys. We might be getting a better angle soon. Gareth looks like he's playing about with contraptions to give you all a better angle while I'm cooking. Oh! <laughs> Is it a bit heavy, darling? And there was me thinking about paying attention. Look, he's a good husband, isn't he? He has been busy today. He has been busy editing. Because he does do all the editing for both the channels, guys. So. That's Gareth. Peppers. That's enough for his majesty. Some for me, come on. Oh. Oh, well, it wobbles. <laughs> it wobbles, it's got a stabiliser on though, hasn't it? We'll find out, won't we? If you, if you didn't sit shaking in your chair down, it won't wobble. <laughs> well, I don't need to shake now. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> I think they can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting up the peppers in there. <laughs> With that angle, at least uh, zoom in what you're doing now and again. That's fine.
These last stages as well, guys, by the way. The, you know, the peppers, the seedless ones, they seem to last twice as long as your normal ones. Don't know why. I'll put quite a few peppers in mine. It's going to be the simplest tea you've ever seen. And I can't mess this up, guys, because I do it all the time. It's just curry, in it? Now he's got his headphones on. He's might be a bit hot. We'll see. Now I'm going to cook both of these. Before I do anything else. A little bit of a uh, fry light. I like to take the sting off the onions. One spoon, two spoons. Do mine first. Oh, it's gonna send heat on me. Guys. Do it with a few garlic bits, just a plain box down with garlic baguette. I could really put garlic on as well at the same time, colour. Am not going to be in my way there? No. That actually looks better with the smaller onions, to be fair. Now, top tips for you guys. Top tip for you guys. So, if you are doing one spicy, one non-spicy, make sure you use different spoons. You can't mix the spicy with the non-spicy. So it is actually going to be a one pot wonder, but I'm doing it in two pots because I'm doing one spicy, one non spicy. Now, while we're cooking these in here, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic and ginger in both of them. Oh, that was a big spoon. So I'm going to put one big spoon of garlic and ginger in both pans. This is good stuff, this guys. Nice and easy and done. I've not over today, so I'll throw it in bed. <laughs> I could have thrown it in gallows, couldn't I? <laughs> Open the window a little bit. Now I'm swapping them round a little bit because my front one has more heat than the back one. This one is my biggest one. This is why it's my favourite. Comments if you've got a favourite hob ring. <laughs> I definitely have, and I've had a favourite hob ring on every cooker I've ever had. I 
and that's it for them guys because I'm just taking the sting off them I'll turn them both to low I'm glad I cut the onions different because I forgot which was which then right so this one's Gareth's and I'm literally going to throw in the chicken with the seasoning Now you can use this chicken frozen by the way, I have anyway, mix it in, nice and simple, change them over, mine's going in plain, like me, nice and plain, so mine's actually got more vegetables than it has chicken. But that's normal box standard for me. I might even put some garden peas in mine, I haven't decided. I lost another bit of bloody onion. And I'm just going to whack it in with the sauce. I'm going to put mine in first. Because with Gareth's I could just put a tin of um, tomatoes in there. And I like mine quite wet and Gareth likes his curry quite dry. And if you don't know what I mean by that, there's not a lot I can do well with you. <laughs> On that front. Oh yes. And that smells bangy, not going to lie. bit more because I am putting rice in it. Right, so let me heat this through. Do this one first, mine first. It's bubbling away. Change that for the sh one on the back. And then we'll add this into Gareth's. Add some of the water. And obviously, Gareth's has got that spicing, guys, so. I don't know what this is going to be because I'm not tasting this. <laughs> oh, the bob smell bang it. Why does kind of look like it's got more in it than mine? Maybe it's kind of got quite a fair bit of more chicken in. I'm not bothered about the meat though, me myself, personally. So, oh, I have to come over there to get you. Wait a minute. So, so we've got really spicy and really mild. Spicy, mild. Now, um, there looks like there's quite a lot in the pan, so I'm going to let them simmer for about half an hour. I'll come back to you, and I will definitely let you know if I'm putting rice in. I will pick you back up, but they're just simmering for half an hour, so see you in a bit. So, he's got his headphones in, thank the Lord. I don't know if I put too much of that powder in, you know, guys. Gareth's is really spicy. It's burning my eyes, the smoke coming off it. And it's like stinging my eyes. And listen, my eyes don't even sting when I'm cutting onions, as you've all seen. So I'm definitely not putting any chilli powder in because I think that's got a bit of a kick all on its own. <laughs> we'll see how it, what it is when I serve him it. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Better make him a brew, Anna. Prepare him for the worst. I love his noise cancelling headphones. So guys, because I'm on good wife duty, I've made him a brew. In his cup. I made your brew, love. Yeah, that's a nice cup, isn't it? I know. Really good cup, that. Yeah. So I thought I'd make you a brew. You open windows? 
What are you cooking? I've done a curry. My eyes are burning. It's funny that. I just said something very similar on here. Unless I'm tired on laptop. Maybe. I think we do need some air in here though, so I'm going to open the door. I'll pick you back up, guys. It's just bubbling away. I will show you it. It's just... Mine's the butter chicken. And then the ghost chilli. I better knock up window as well. Let me get some air running through. It's just a bit... My eyes are stinging and all. As if you said that. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, you want to back it off. Right, lovelies. It's getting dark and it's not late. So these are ready. So I'm going to add a rice each. I'm not doing them now with um, garlic bread like I said earlier. I'm going to just put the rice in and that'll do be it for me. But Gareth will have some tortillas because Gareth prefers japatis over garlic bread. So he always has some. What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, because he prefers japatis, I'm going to give him that with some tortillas and I'm just having it with the rice. Because um, it's getting dark, it's going to be pretty much done this vlog. Although obviously I'm going to show you Gareth trying to try and his tea and see if he likes it. Now we normally don't do... Um, a cooking video on pews on tour but that's what you came today my guys because i was busy i was out and about and got i've had an appointment and that's pretty much it so i will pick you back up when he's ready for his tea because he won't be ready yet so i'll just it'll take me five minutes to eat them up and do you know these microwave rices that cook in two minutes guys literally just throw them in boil them through a couple of minutes in pan and they cook perfect every time so i'll see you in a little bit when he's trying his tea so I've made you a curry and I've even got you some tortilla wraps if you want them. It is made with one of them spices from that dude. Well, as long as you've only put a little diddy bit in. Looks like dog shit in a bowl. Thanks, cheers. I don't think it'd be too spicy for you. Don't dare ask for chilli powder. It's better than it looks. Not too hot? I'm not going to do too much for the powder. You're lying. I'm not. Just got a... That's the hottest one. Is it? I think so. That was the one, ghost chilli one. I think I wanted a bit more stuff too. <laughs> I put quite a pack in it. I'm good at Where were you watching the video? No, it's not strong. Oh. But you like your curry? You see, I can't bake, but I can cook people. You put what else in it? Um, just some garlic and... That's got... because chilli's really nice. Yeah, no, that's all I used. I mean, I did do it with a butter chicken sauce. Do you even use quite a packet? I didn't put it all in. It said to use half a packet, and I thought it was going to be really hot, so I used quarter. Should have put full pack in. I can't believe you said I thought it was going to really blow your head off. <laughs> well, ghost chilli's supposed to, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a million Scoville or something. Is it? Well. That's meant to be really red hot. I can't believe you just said it. it. <laughs> you what? Uh, Tales of a Kuna. Yeah. Crap, mate. Well, he actually likes it. He's just said he likes it. It's not hot, hot, though. I reckon full packet would have been better. Yeah, all right, OK. I know for the next one. You say I've got some wraps? You have. I'm going to open them now for you. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Well, I'm... End of vlog. Bye. Bye. And if you're one of them, 